God, I hate this piano stool. <laughs> I really hope that noise wasn't audible. All right, day three of recording Super Luigi Galaxy. My voice is now officially shot. Greetings, companions of all ages. I am yours truly, Lava Cat in 2000. And welcome to part or episode 16 of Super Luigi Galaxy. In the last episode, we went to my, we finished up my favorite galaxy in the game, one of them anyway. Uh, that being, of course, Freeze Flame Galaxy, as well as finishing up Major Burroughs' Daredevil Run in Gusty Garden. Today is going to be a very big day and the start of a galaxy, a major galaxy, that will not be finished for quite a while. It is <clears throat> probably my least favorite galaxy in uh, World 4, but yeah, whatever. Before we begin this video, I'd like to specify, if I do seem a little bit more quiet, this is my voice. So, yeah, I'm losing my voice. Although, this is something that happened in Triangle Strategy a lot, too. I need to gurgle some salt water to uh, get my throat back under control, but it's 10 in the morning. I just woke up, just had class, and that is a perfect time to head to... The 29 star galaxy, Dusty Dune Galaxy. Now, I have mixed feelings about Dusty Dune Galaxy. First of all, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this off uh, off my chest immediately. Dusty Dune Galaxy has seven stars in them, making it the uh, tied with Battle Rock for the most amount of stars in any galaxy in Galaxy One or Two. Unlike Battle Rock Galaxy, I actually don't like a lot of Dusty Dune's individual stars. There's one mission that I do like, but it gets beaten to the ground because of outside interference. Anyways, let's go and get started. Soaring on the Desert Winds, this is the only star that is uh, does not have a secret star, so yeah. We've got two secret stars, two comets, and three regular missions, much like in Battle Rock. Unlike in Battle Rock, we're going to be able to get all six power stars on our first visit, leaving one power star that we have not obtained. Gonna show off a 30 second video right here, um, but this quicksand is not actually instantaneous death. If you have a turbo controller or are just really good at mashing the A button, you actually can stay out of this quicksand, but unfortunately whenever you enter the quicksand it disables your ability to move, effectively making it impossible to ever move up. This is a- Dry Bones. Dry Bones is our immortal enemies that you have to fight. These guys are twisters. They will create quicksand things that you have to bounce off of. So yeah. I don't mind Dusty Dune Galaxy. There's uh, a pair of stars that I've never really cared much for. But... Overall, Dusty Dune Galaxy has never really been a difficult galaxy. It's just one that I've never liked. Um, I said back in Freeze Flame Galaxy that I've never really cared that I love Ice Worlds. Well, in uh, the opposite... I didn't know I could grab Hound all the way down here. Huh. Ground pound. Ho! Oh, forgot those guys were there. <laughs> but um, I've never liked desert levels. Never have. Probably never will. It's not because I despise desert levels, but most of the time these desert levels are shit. If that makes any sense, I've never really cared for them. I've never been a fan of quicksand as a, a mechanic, and this level is crawling with that mechanic. So just in general, any desert galaxy I've never really, well, any desert level I've really never liked. I've ne I don't like the Sand Kingdom and Odyssey. I don't like World 2 of pretty much any Super Mario Bros. level, uh, Mar uh, su new Super Mario Bros. game. I was glad that they got, well, they didn't get rid of it in, uh, 
Super Mario Wonder, but they did replace it with a, a much better iteration of it. Anyway, over here we have a Fire Flower. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this. I do not know if you can die. Ow. Go ahead and grab this. Gonna go ahead and take a running long jump. And over there into this warp pipe as well. And this takes us over to this really cool section here. I do have to admit, I like Dusty Dune's aesthetic a lot more than Slip Sand Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 2 because, well, Slip Sand isn't really much of a galaxy, it's just like three or four individual planets. I don't know the names of these guys, but they drop bombs. They're not fun. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and hop over here. And just go ahead and continue making upward mobility progress. Okay, that was I'm okay. I'm feeling kind of proud about myself on that one. Now I do believe if you fall to your death here, uh, there really isn't a good way to recover from that. Go ahead and grab this. Grab this. Yoink. Barely, <laughs> barely missing it. We have that. I think I grabbed, I think I jumped at an angle. All right, we have this little section here, and then we have these. These blocks disappear as soon as you step on them, and I've never understood why that's the way that is, but it is. Anyway, over here we've got this. This one I keep spinning and try and break it, and there we go. <laughs> the only normal part about Dusty Dune Galaxy is getting this first star. Afterwards, it's, it's onto a large random list of stars. And unfortunately, like I said previously, Dusty Dune is probably going to take at least three episodes. Because of the extra minor stuff that comes with it. Because when you complete the first mission of this galaxy, a Hungry Luma appears. That's right, we have another Hungry Luma, so let's go ahead and uh, get on to that. Alright, we have a Hungry Luma to feed. I believe this Hungry Luma wants... 800 star bits. 800 star bits to cure the hunger pangs. We have just enough to keep over 3,000 star bits, which is nice. 30, 36. Isn't that the snacks dimension from Crash 4? Yeah! That's the, isn't that the year? Anyways, enough talking about the year. We're going to go ahead and unlock... Big Mouth Galaxy, one of my favorite galaxies in terms of pure freaking appearance. Big Mouth's Gold Bait. To unlock Big Mouth Galaxy, you must complete Soaring on the Desert Winds, so the first star of Dusty Dune Galaxy to unlock it. And we have yet another water-based galaxy. And this was the galaxy that Kai mentioned way back in Beach Bowl Galaxy. Uh, this is the galaxy that also has a gold shell. I don't know the name of these enemies, but you have to spin their ass to get stuff from them. I'm going to look it up. I've got a guide right next to me. Flip, 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 flip. Okay, so these guys are called Crabbers. Uh, crabbers come in two colors, this blue one right here, and I just accidentally fell into the water, as well as the normal red ones, 
Blue Crabbers always drop one-ups upon their defeat. Now, the reason why I like Big Mouth Galaxy so much is that when you're initially looking at Big Mouth Galaxy from a wider perspective, it looks like a singular planet floating in the middle of nowhere. And then it takes you a minute, and you realize that's water. That is a planet of pure water water. Surrounded by moons made out of water as well. Big Mouth Galaxy, despite it being a single star, I think has the largest planet in the game. There, It's a toss-up between this one or one of the last galaxies. Anyway, this is a golden treasure chest. It can only be opened with a golden turtle shell. Only open for the shell that shines. What is your name? This is my hideaway. It's the perfect, it's the perfect spot for fishing and being left alone. So yeah. Anyways, we have a mostly water-centric level that can be cheesed pretty easily. We have the return of the boo enemy, which is not really difficult. Now this mission can actually be cheesed really hard. What you're supposed to do, by the way, that's called uh, that is a called a jellyfish, but I believe. They got a new name recently. It was called Jam of War. But what you're going to want to do is... Usually what you have to do is you have to collect five star pieces in there while um, avoiding enemies. But what you want to do, hug the white wall, do a wall jump. It'll take you up into this section up here. And inside we have the golden shell. And we're essentially skipping the entire portion of the mission. Well, no, camera, camera, camera. There we go. And then you're just going to want to drop down and head back the way you came. Eep. Holy shit, it's booze. The, uh, something I didn't bring up, but I guess I can bring it up now, is that... Uh, the shells, if you were swimming underwater with a Koopa shell, as you can see, there was this little light beam. And that light beam can kill ghosts instantly. So we've got to make it through this one shell, throw this, and there's a toad. Man, that was close! Oh, Luigi! I almost forgot to tell you something! So, yeah, toad... Toad doing toad things, I guess. You know? I haven't seen Toad in a galaxy since... Ghostly? I think it was since Ghostly. So there we go. That is Big Mouth Galaxy's one and only Power Star. A really neat galaxy. Not as good as... Uh, it's actually one of the few galaxies that I would say there's a galaxy in Galaxy 2 better than it. <laughs> bum 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 Galaxy complete. Chapter to the storybook. We'll talk about that at the end of this. Sorry for the burp. Alright, now that we're done with that, let's head back to... Dusty Noon Galaxy, so see you in a second. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. To give you an idea of how... Vari uh, how wide and variety this galaxy is. We're going from the technical first mission to the seventh mission unlock. What? Treasure of the Pyramid. Uh, unlocked only in this goddamn mission, Blasting Through the Sand. Be prepared to see the Blasting Through the Sand mission a lot. You're going to play it, I think, more than any other mission in the game. Four times. At least a certain area. But we're not going to uh, deal with that right now. We are instead going to be thinking about the most valuable thing we could ever think of. Star bits. Because we need to get star bits for a Luma. Uh, a, um... I don't even know if the Luma... Does the... Does the... Does the little comet guy have a Luma? <laughs> Executive... Oh, no, it's just... Okay, I'm dumb. It's called a Hungry Luma. <laughs> I genuinely just ran. Oh my god, I'm surrounded. Holy sh- Wait! 
후아! 서 so, we get that. We have a red pokey that I'm just gonna murder real quick. Get 20 starbits from him. And we're gonna get thrown over to this little planet right here. And underneath this planet is a little Hungry Luma. The Hungry Luma, I think, takes 30 star bits. So we're gonna have exactly the same amount here. Hey, you, Gun Daisy Star Bits! Oh, only 20. Let's go. Gonna feed this guy this. A new planet was born. And we're gonna go flying into a, uh, hit a warp pipe, entering this section here. So yeah, this is the first secret star of the game. We have lots of coins down here if you really want. And what's funny is that in my rec my uh, practice run, as you, I don't think I ever brought this up. I did a practice attempt of this game doing commentary and everything, and I actually died here because of donuts. Uh, Luigi decided to do donuts and was crushed. So basically, we have a five silver star mission here. You're gonna wanna grab this one, make sure you grab it. You also have some crates. And basically, what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna... I think I'm going this way. And we're just gonna keep moving forward. Don't really want to be in a bad position. And I died right there, right over there. I started, my character decided it was time to just start doing donuts. I'm gonna go ahead and start moving again to get this going back up again. And basically this is just a five silver star mission. Grab, grab the five individual silver stars and you've got it. And this last one, I believe, is right here. There's usually a route that I take to get this. Yep, there it goes. And once you hit them all, the uh, the sand itself disappears. But then anyways, once we have collected all of the five silver stars, we obtain the third and final green star. And that is the reason why Dusty Dune is going to take a while to 100%. Because, whereas... Oh, I gotta backflip up. There we go. Whereas, most of the other major galaxies were just straight shots. We're gonna be taking a detour and going to much harder levels now. So yeah, now that we've unlocked all three of the green stars, we now have access to the trial galaxies. And, like I said, anytime minor galaxies pop up, I'm gonna do them. So the trial galaxies are gonna functionally act as... The, um, oh, well, Polari's gonna explain. You've managed to recover all of the green power stars and restore the green launch star. And we get three new minor galaxies to explore. Even I don't know what's waiting for you out there beyond the green launch star. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get started with that. All right. I would like to reiterate something. In between this recording and the last recording, so the last, so uh, the secret of the treasure pyra treasure of the pyramid, my mouse stopped working for some reason, and I had to literally reboot everything. So just letting you know just how tiresome this game can be. Anyways, off to the trial galaxies. The door to the trial galaxies has been restored. May the light of the cosmos be with you, brave challenger. The trial galaxies merely reflect your own abilities. You may find great joy or great disappointment. You may try three types of trials. If you truly are the one who can save the universe, you will pass them all. Let's go ahead and fly over to this planet. This orange pipe will take you back to the Comet Observatory if you really want to, but otherwise we have three individual galaxies to try. We're going to be trying one of them today. 
and eeny meeny roll for initiative um my phone's on the other side of the room do i have a die i do have a dice give me a second all right yes i do have a dice i've got a pretty wooden dial maybe send to put a photo of it in the in the recording so if it's a one or a four i'm going to the blue one two or three i'm going to the yellow one and odd one out it's a two so i'm going to the yellow one uh, I have no idea what this is. I'm so glad I remembered I have wooden, really pretty wooden dice set. Sorry, Jaden, didn't mean to poke you. All right, we're going to the yellow one. What is this galaxy? Rolling Gizmo Galaxy. So all three of these uh, these trial galaxies are actually more difficult versions of galaxies we've already seen. So as a result, there isn't a new theming here. All right, Gizmos, Gears and Gadgets. Let's get started. So, Rolling Gizmo Galaxy is the Starball Galaxy from World 2, but it's just slightly more complicated. There's a little bit more going on. I still don't think the Starball is that hard of a uh, mechanic to get used to, but even with perfect controls and knowledge, you still have problems. Anyway, let's see what Gil Bill Phil Billboard. Hey there, I'm Billboard. Wait, have we met before? Anyways, you can only get through here with the ball. Get on, tilt up. Up, 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 up. All right, so we have the ball. Get on the ball, Luigi. There we go. So let us begin. Right off the bat, there's a pretty easy to grab one up if you ever want it. Works. There we go. Yes, we can destroy these by jumping into them. This is the only time where that's actually important. Go ahead and round to this. Even as a kid, I never found... I've never really found this galaxy to be terrifyingly hard. A lot of people seem to. There's really only one Starball Galaxy mission in the entirety of Galaxy 1 and 2 that I ever found difficult, and that was the uh, the Purple Coin mission for Rolling Coaster Galaxy, which, to be fair, that is in the World S, so I wouldn't be a surprised. Okay, good. Crisis nearly averted. Hup. I'm gonna go this way. We've got lots of coins here, but if you're really good, you can just... Avoid everything! There we go. Hop on. Oh! I usually... That's like another jump, because that's a weird angle that I usually fall on. Thankfully, I did not. And we're moving on to the final stretch here. This uh, thing here. Now, what's really funny is that there's a Goomba. A, mi a micro Goomba. That... If you do everything wrong... You'll bounce into that micro Goomba and then bounce off of the track. And yes, I've done it before. It is very possible to do it. Anyways, now I have to get onto this right here. Nope, not gonna. Uh, not successful. Do, 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 do. I don't think you can jump high enough, so you actually need to be on this. And there we go. Bop, ba -da -da -bop. And that is Rolling Gizmo Galaxy. A very, very easy galaxy. And what I like to do is afterwards, I like to just quickly grab all of the star bits that I possibly could have missed. A, a lot of the star bits in uh, these th uh, next three galaxies, there's actually quite a lot of them, which enables you to get a couple that you wouldn't get normally. So there we go. So that is the first of the Trial Galaxy stars. Galaxy complete. And with that, we are officially halfway to completion of this game. The way I wanted things, it should have been episode 15, but eh, whatever, I did good at Galaxy on its own. So that is going to do it for this episode. Next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, we're going to finish off both of the other Trial Galaxies. Which contain, by the way, one of the trial galaxies is, in my opinion, the second artist star in the game. And then we're going to head back to the bedroom and try to get more progress in 
Dusty Dune. Oh boy. We're not gonna finish it next time either, so yeah. Until then, thank you for watching as long as you have, and I will see all of you lovely individuals in the next episode. Later, folks.